I've heard some stereotypes about you guys too, you know? <laughs> Lived in Britain for a while, I learned that. When you guys go abroad on holiday, you guys behave like dicks. <laughs> Do you know that about yourselves? I don't think it's accurate because have you ever been to a Butlins? You are dicks domestically too. It's not a geography problem here, right? We all know Butlins, right? Give me a chair. <laughs> Holy shit. It's part of British culture I wish I never learned. I had the worst gig of my life there last year. Like, you know when you walk past the weather spoons at two in the afternoon? Imagine if all those people went to a resort. <laughs> Just alcoholics in sandals. You want to see third world people in the first world country? Butlins, that's where you go. <laughs> to watch a Jeremy Kyle show by the beach. It's like a white only refugee camp. We gotta deport those Butlins people. Send them all to Australia again. Yeah, nobody outside the UK knows Butlins. You know, Max, you know Butlins? No, right? It's a very British thing. I'm the only one who knows. There is no Italian guy out there going, oh, Fabio, I wanna try something different. Butlins Minehead. No, it's Britain's best kept secret. Let's keep it that way. <laughs> Here's how I explain Butlins to foreign people, all right? Like, it's a seaside resort that will make you pro-global warming. <laughs> you go in there like, melt the ice caps, drown those fuckers, please. Why are we still recycling? And you, you even advertise for Butlins, right? Newspapers and magazines and every Butlins ad I don't know if you've seen this, but every Butlins ad, they show you the sun setting, a nice beach, a nice chalet. Notice how they'll never ever show you the people. <laughs> right? Without the people, oh, this looks kind of nice. With the people, it's a fucking horror film. <laughs> Best place to go to feel better about your life. Just lose your job, lose your house, lose your wife, go into a Butlins. Huh. I'm doing okay. <laughs> At least I still have most of my teeth. <laughs> 40 teeth in the crowd, total. <laughs> when they were booing me, it was just pink gums looking back at me. Just, ugh. You can't afford all those tattoos, but you can't afford a toothbrush. Is that how much you pay per night at the Butlins based on how many teeth you have left? <laughs> Check in, please. Free for you, sir. Please. I was like, no, get back in your caravan, you freaks. <laughs> Trump should build a wall right around mine head. <laughs> yeah, that was something I should have said to them. Okay, they didn't like me there. <laughs> It's a booking error, man. They don't want to see me there. They probably never talked to an Asian person before without ordering anything. <laughs> Here's how much they hated me that afternoon, man. Butlins, Minehead, Adult Weekend. Oh, boy. People are probably getting fingered next to a bin, you know? <laughs> Isn't that the most romantic thing you can do at a Butlins? Get some red coat to finger you, right? <laughs> I was booked to do 20 minutes at that gig. I lasted eight minutes. Security had to come escort me away. And you know you fucked up if at a comedy gig, security comes for you. Yeah, two blokes are trying to climb on the stage, you know, and they both had shaved heads and white t-shirts on, you know, the business casual version of the KKK outfit. <laughs> There's no hood for me today, Steve. Casual Fridays, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, I don't see that look here. Thank you for dressing up. I'll wager a guess. You guys are pretty middle class here in Bath, right? Yeah, yeah, don't tense up. Are you guys tense up when, you, when I call you middle class? No, you, you worked hard for it, you know? Own it. You worked hard to inherit that house. 
You deserve all the halloumi and ski trips, okay? <laughs> Enjoy. Don't let the liberals tell you how to feel. <laughs> if you like that shaved head and white t-shirt look, you've got to soften it up so minorities don't fear you, right? Shaved head, white t-shirt, wear a Fitbit. No racist guy wears that. What, stab me and run away? Oh, 5,000 steps, yeah. What an active lifestyle. So thanks for not being Butlin's mind head, I appreciate it, okay. <laughs>